Freaks and Geeks, FWK Germany. My fans, this is your boy Levi McDaniel. You're watching the newest and latest international episode. Be sure to stop right now. Subscribe to this YouTube channel you're watching right now. Go to my YouTube page, Levi McDaniel. Go to the Facebook and like the FWK page and like LMFP, Levi McDaniel LMFP fight promotions on the Facebook guys you're in for a treat here we're gonna show you an exclusive new program with LMFP we're gonna show you a match you've seen the next stars matches in Germany FWK well here at LMFP we now have a next stars here in America you're gonna see a match there as well as some greetings from other wrestlers from LMFP sending our fans in Germany the greatest wishes possible as we go into the holiday season. Some updates with LMFP. You're going to see on the YouTube page some new exclusive matches going into the year with myself doing commentary on FWK matches. We're going to be having some new events next year. We're working on getting a brand new wrestling ring and setup. Fans, you guys are the blood who keeps our support. You're keeping our life going. Thank you once again. Be sure, like I said, you subscribe to this page and enjoy the international episode. You'll be seeing more content from all of us soon. Greetings. Happy New Year's. Love you guys. Thank you very much for all the support. What up? Why are you here? I want something to eat. No, that's my meal. Your meal? What is this? Ketchup and some fruits? Yeah, delicious. Okay, okay, delicious. But you can use this bread for that too. You can use the Thermomix, make something, and then you can do it on the bread. Yeah? But, Bender, shut up. Oh. Yuck. Hey guys, have you seen some, some drinks here? What were you here? Empty, it's empty. Have you seen a drink for me? You're drunk, huh? What's wrong with you? Nothing. Are you drunk? And what is this for our outfit? Do we have a, a, a soccer man or something? I just wanted to exercise here and, and uh, have a little drink, you know? Emphasis on drink. <laughs> Boar. Your breath stinks. But we clear this later. Bender, I want to give you the shot for the Freak Show Championship. You know our hardcore match was a draw. So I want to give you no the shot. No, I want to give you this shot. Uh, I'm the real man. No, no, no. Don't be so unfaithful. I give you this shot. Shut up! No! He's drunk. Could you keep it down? Don't be so angry. Not so loud. I have a headache. Speak on the other side. You stink. Can't you just take the present that I give to you for the draw? I take the glasses off. No, I'm serious. Do you see this eyes? Do you see this eyes? Oh, I don't so want to keep it down. I want to give you this shot. What's wrong? I want to give him the shot. I want to him was a, shot. It was a draw at the SS. Shut up! I don't shot. You shut up! And he's just drunk. I'm not drunk. Actually, stop waving in front of my face. No. I just need a drink here. What's going on? Wait, we have a match with all for what? this title. And this is the last chance. Wow, what a way to kick off this international episode. We're gonna have Outlaw versus Alucard versus Bender versus Garbage Brother for the Freak Show title later tonight. I welcome you. It's the last FWK international episode for 2021. I am Mirko Lichternetz. My beard has other color, but I'm still Mirko Lichternetz. And man, we totally appreciate that partnership to LMFP. And we heard and saw that promo, that speech from Levi McDaniel, the owner of LMFP. Thank you for the words. But not only that, later tonight we're gonna have some words from the judge and from Brian Blade. And Brian Blade, he will speak German. But 
Man, we will have this later tonight. For now, we take a look at backstage. Die Unbefugten and die Geisten, they have a little dispute. Take a look at that. We are pretty awesome tag team champs. Yes. Yeah. We did the best match ever. Yeah. But it was, was so, so easy. Yes. Beep. Oh my god. Beep. Beep. Oh. oh. I think he plays for Oh my god. Beep. Beep. Oh. Beep. 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 What? Oh. Beep. Beep. What do you do here? Beep. Beep. What the fuck are you looking for? Beep beep beep! Oh, I come down, I come down. What's wrong with this guy? I don't beep. know! Beep beep! What's wrong with him? Beep beep! I, I think... What the fuck? Don't beep beep! Found anything. Beep beep! Beep beep! Beep beep! Beep man, beep man. I think what you're looking for is here inside the couch. Beep beep! It yes. looks pink! Uh, it looks pink! Inside, 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 inside this couch? Yes! Beep beep! Yes. Beep beep! You should look there! Yes! Should look there, here. Beep beep! Should look there. Beep beep! Yes, yes, there! Beep beep! 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 Come clever! Beep! And... Throw him over the couch! Beep beep! Yes! Beep beep! Throw him over the couch! Baby. Yes! 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 Ah. Oh. 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 That was one of the Unbefugten. But there was three members? Yeah, yeah, I think. yeah. They are, they are totally crazy. They are interfered in our last match. Yes! And, and I think they attacked I think, us! Yes, yes, yes. Just because we, we interrupted them. Dance session of the peep man. You know what? Yes. We have to take them out. One and another. We have to take all of them, three of them out. Uh, the next one. Burrito! Yes, burrito! Burrito! Yes. Come get that fucker. Yes! Beep. 
Beep. I will revenge you. Beep. Beep. Stay here. Beep. Beep. Rest. And I go and find them. But first, I have to find Burrito. Let's go. God damn it. They trapped him in his own home. What has gotten into these guys? This chain is way too heavy for me. How did they put it up there? You know, this, this means war. Come on. This is going to be a match. Tell us more, Richie. What is wrong? The guys, they beat Burrito and Piepmann up. They beat him up and smack them down. Oh no. So I am here to avenge my friends. Come on, guys. I want to match against you right now, right here. So this is the open challenge, I think. We are the guys. But now what's up, Richie? What's up? What's up? What happened? Man, what happened? What's wrong? Uh, you are uh, uh, Why? What's wrong, Richie? You motherfucker! And why are you alone? Uh, uh, Where is the, these other guys? This, I don't know what's his name. Beepman, Beepman, <laughs> and, and this, this Mexican guy. Burrito! You. Burrito, yes. Where are they? I'm trying to ring. I want you now. You want a match? Come on. A match? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Yeah. Two, like, it's one. Yeah. A little, a a little warm up, a little training. <laughs> they are cocky as always. The FWK Tag Team Champions, the Geisten. Burrito is trapped in his box. Piepmann is hurt. And so Richie Rübel has to fight on his own. And I think he's pumped up. The guys have some experience in handicap matches. They defeat Double D, the first single FWK Tag Team Champ to become the Tag Team Champions. Richie Rübel has some strikes for Troublemaker. And maybe Troublemaker didn't expect it to have that force behind that strikes. And so here's another strike to the head. Forever is a bit confused, he comes in and Richie Rübel does more strikes, kicks and smashes to the head and he smashed Grabber down, he smashed Troublemaker down. Richie Rübel is pumped, he is on fire, I think. I can't believe what I see here. Body slam! I never saw Richie Rübel in that shape before. Oh, no, no, no. Don't do it. It's nothing good. If he goes on top, it's not good, but man! He has done the splash in a perfect way. Can't believe what I see here. Man! Hip toss! Richie Rüppel with the signature big boot and maybe he can beat the guys. I, I, I saw this. My incredible offense. My incredible offense. Yeah, Richie Rüppel says it. It's, it was surely an incredible offense, but the offense oh, no. is stopped in a rude way by the guys. And I can't believe that they have to use unfair techniques I mean it's two on one it's unfair enough the signature spine master from troublemaker and he feels good but he's cocky he's cocky again that signature slap on the chest of Richie Rübel I think it's not good. I think they 
they should not uh, let Richie Rubel come in the match again. You see how cocky they are. They think that they real think that they are the very best that FWK has, and the Geisten means in English uh, something like the most beautiful, the most coolest, the most coolest dudes on the planet, and they think that they are. Grabber with some intense offense. Godbuster on the rope. He slows the match down. And now a toss and that was dangerous. Maybe he dodged the rope. But maybe he slipped away and it looked very dangerous. He, he bent the neck of Richie Rübel. And Richie Rüppel is not in a good shape now. Yeah, they underestimated Richie Rüppel. I'm a bit surprised that they see it. And that they think they underestimated Richie. Irish whip. Man, what force behind that move. Grabber splash! Grabber splash! But Richie Rübel wasn't there. Finishing signature schoolboy roll up, but not yet. Only two, only two. Only two, only two, Richie. Oh man. It was almost finished this match. Oh no, and now the dirty moves a low blow. I rake before that and. I can't believe that these guys always do so unfair, such unfair moves. And he makes fun of Richie. He makes fun that Richie Rüppel fights alone. I mean, the guys, they took out the partners of Richie Rüppel. They took out Burrito. They took out Peepman. And so... It's on purpose that Richie Rübel fights alone it. Man. These are some shit guys and a tag team move. And I think they play with Richie. They want to not just beat him, but beat him down and beat him up. Lung blower. And this is their tag team finisher. I think they will yeah, we see it, the troublemaker yes. bottom. Finish him. And this is gotta be One, it. One, two, three. three. It's over. It's Ooh. over. Certainly no big surprise that the FWK Tag Team Champs beat Richie Rübel in this handicap match. But it was a big surprise that Richie Rübel has made an incredible offense. A very strong offense from Richie Rübel and he can be proud of himself. He tried, he tried to get that revenge for his friends. But, I mean, two on one, it's always not fair and it's always very difficult to handle a situation like this. Man, Richie Rübel was driven by his will to avoid revenge and he almost got it. He almost defeated the FWK Tag Team Champs, Die Geisten. But only almost. Before we take a look at the Freak Show Championship match, I got some more information about this very episode for you. Dragonfire defeated Schlachter and Vladimir Pripyat in the last episode, in the last German episode, DSF Party, to become the King of Monsters. Tonight, he challenges Outlaw for his most important title, the FWK World Championship. For Outlaw, 
it's a very dangerous situation. He has to put his freak show title on the line and later tonight he has to put his FWK World Championship on the line. Can he handle this difficult situation? We will see. But don't turn the PC or the cell phone off after the main event. After the main event we have some bonus footage for you. It's the next stars project from LMFP. It's BYW. We have some professional backyard wrestling stuff at the end of this episode and I'm gonna do the commentary for this stuff. Man, I look forward to see that. I look forward to everything that will happen in this episode. And now it's time for the Freak Show Championship match. But before we take a look at this match, we take a close look at the promo of the judge and the promo of Brian Blade. Let's start. Good afternoon, FWK and all you awesome FWK fans. My name is Shane the Judge Matthews. I am a current member of LMFP. And no, you do not need to adjust your TV. Yes, I am that ugly. If you like wrestling, LMFP brings that straight from the Midwest to your view and pleasure. Hope to see you soon. It's great, this partnership we're going to have uh, with some uh, German wrestling organizations. Um, I'm going to try to do this in German for you, so we'll speak a little German. So uh, bear with me. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope I do a good enough job and you guys uh, get it. Um, but it's, it's going to be an honor to work with you. Huh? So, um, welcome to Deutsch Wrestling Fans. Ich bin Brian Blade. Ich freue mich darauf, mit der zu arbeiten und an dem Land zu ringen. In dem meine Mutten geboren wurde, schau mich an Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I am just real Brian Blade. I hope I did that all right for you. I hope you can understand. Um, and I can't wait to get over to the Bundesrepublik Deutschland and wrestle for in front of the German fans. We'll see you soon, guys. Thank you. You can be better. 
You can be better than this alcohol shit. I, I tried, I tried to find it in myself, but I can't feel it anymore. It doesn't make sense, right? Yeah, it doesn't make sense what you say. But you tell me shit. The green energy is in your heart, and it can't be away. It's not possible. You know what doesn't make shit, uh, what what doesn't make sense? You can't even talk. Every every once in a while, we meet here and we start speaking English. That, that doesn't make sense. Explain what? this to me. Uh, that is. <laughs> 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 Oh, 
What a match! What a match this is for the Freak Show title! Man, we saw some hardcore action, we saw some street fight action, but what is the drunken Alucard doing? Man! Alucard is a, in a very bad shape. He thinks that he lost his energy because of his huge loss at the DSF party, where he not defeated Outlaw. Now he thinks that he lost the energy and he tried something new there. But now I think he's hurt. He jumped all the way down. He missed Outlaw and he smashed on the knees. It doesn't look good at all. Oh! Outlaw doesn't care about that. He wants to retain his freak shot title. As I told you before, he's not only the freak shot champion, he's also the FWK world champion. And now he has to fight his partner, one half of the Psycho Boys, Bender. No! Stop! Oh, what is this? Dead box! Dead help me! You maybe took out all of us, but you don't took me out! <laughs> Wait, I change this! Okay. Garbage Roller is in the match. I mean, he is not officially out, but he was smashed through the box and now, oh, take care. No! And I think Bender just took out Garbage Roller with that heavy piece of metal. Oh man, and now, partners become enemies oh no 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 what is this what is this a cover one two three three it was oh my god we have a new freak show champion it's over outlaw is surprised i mean he just went for the twist of fate and then bender pulled out the condor he countered it with the alabama slam it was so fast man i can't believe that the Freak Show Championship just changed hands. Bender is now a two-time Freak Show Champion. Congratulations for that. And this was a sick street fight. I loved it. Now it's main event time. Outlaw has to put his FWK World Championship on the line. He maybe lost the Freak Show Championship. But the most important title is still on his hips. This will be a big challenge for Outlaw because we are talking about the King of Monsters Dragonfire. The King of Monsters versus Outlaw. Let's take a look at this match. Will we have a new FWK World Champion or will Outlaw retain his title against Dragonfire? Everything is possible. But this main event is presented by John Maker's Lifting Moment and by Scott Phipps Feet Moment. Take a look at this moments and the this specials and then we start with the main event. John Maker, this is for you! Why? Why? Oh, 
The King of Monsters Dragonfire, what is he doing? Wow, what a display of power! He just damaged that basketball! Man, just like the great Kali with the vice grip. I don't know who has more power, Dragonfire or the great Kali. Look at this massive guy! He is the King of Monsters! And he isn't the king of monsters for nothing. He's scary. He's one hell of a crazy big dude. The crowd loves him. And the uh, opponents fear him. Now it's time for the most important man. The biggest man of FWK, the FWK World Champion, Outlaw! Outlaw! I'm the champ! It's his second, his second title defense. Outlaw, you lost the free shot championship. And now it's everything on this title, on the FWK World title. Hey, champion, Outlaw, hey, this is a real champ. Yeah, I had this smile. The smile. This is the real champ. Yeah, I'm This is the real champ. Go away. I mean, did you all saw the face of Outlaw? He is not about to make jokes here. He is not about to be funny. He just want to retain that title. I mean, he lost the freak show title yeah. earlier that night. World champion. And I think he saved. A lot of energy for this way bigger match against Dragonfire. And I think that was smart of him. I mean, he has to use all of his techniques and all of his power to win against Dragonfire. And how intimidating is this guy? And Dragonfire knows that. He knows that Outlaw has a lot of pressure. It's impressive, it's impressive. Oh man! What was this? Dragonfire has done a smart move. Can we please see this again? You see, Outlaw walks in the ropes and then Dragonfire walks in the other side in the ropes and then Outlaw slips away. So, this was a smart move from Outlaw. Uh, Dragonfire, sorry. Baseball slide. Oh, crossbody countered. I mean, that wasn't so smart from Outlaw. And Snake Eyes, Chokehold. Dragonfire wants to win this match. And you see the force behind that throw in the ring. Outlaw, he flies. Will we have a second new champion? Oh, the vice grip. He smashed, he squeezed that basketball. And now he, he smashed that head from Outlaw. Will he give up? But he's on the rope and now he throws him around the ring. For Dragonfire, it's no problem to handle a man like this. Oh, 
Oh no. This is going to be... Yeah! A running splash! And the, the whole ring! Uh, no! And another no! The whole ring moved around. Man, and some strikes from Outlaw. And he has to get in that match now. And Sugiri kick on the head. And the big man falls down. And I think Outlaw has Dragonfire where he wants to have him. Boom leg drop. Tribute to Kofi Kingston. Jeff Hardy splash. And now a cover. One, two. What in the hell? Only two. I need 50 dollars of you. Dragonfire is more dangerous than he ever was before. Man, he just threw Outlaw away like he's a piece of paper. And Outlaw wants to point with his agility, but he's taken down with a shoulder block. And now, will it be the death kiss? The death punch? The finishing move from Dragonfire. It's the finishing move from Dragonfire. Will this be over here? One. Two! Only Almost two. Three. A clear close. kick out. Very close fire. <laughs> Where does Outlaw have this power from? And now it can be over with the choke stamp. But a very good counter. Oh! I think Dragonfire did not recognize fast enough what Outlaw was going to do. And so. He just... I don't have to... I have no more words. What's the trouble in paradise? I can't find the right words for this situation. Will it be the twist of fate? Twist of fate! Twist of fate! Twist of fate! Outlaw is not finished yet. He is not. Ha, he is not the, the only, uh, not for nothing, the FWK world champion. And we all know what he's going to do now. His finishing maneuver, the Swanton Bomb. He beat a lot of opponents before with that. And what it was an intense match. Both of the men give everything. They give everything. It's always exciting to see a match of two wrestlers like that. And Outlaw has successfully retained his FWK World Championship. And congratulations for that. You totally deserve to be on the top of FWK Outlaw. What an impressive match. What an impressive match. What, what is Dragonfire doing? And a happy end for all. Man, what a main event. Can't believe that Outlaw just retained his FWK World Championship. This episode is almost over and at this point I want to say thank you for all the support around the globe. Thank you to Levi McDaniel and all the other LMFP members. Thank you to Zombie Shark Records for the great music. Man, we appreciate everything much. We appreciate everybody that has good energy and good vibes for the project that we do. And for now, we have some bonus footage for you. The next stars project from the USA and I stop talking and we take action. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Thomas McEntee and I am from the show BYW Pro Wrestling. And I heard that there's going to be a little promotion going on with FWK Germany International. So, I want to welcome you guys from Germany, and uh, I want to let you guys know about this new STARS 
thing. It's pretty much like an NXT, but it's for for the brand. And it's for the, the brand of LMFP. So, I'm ready to fight for this. I'm ready to be the man. I'm ready to bleed for this crowd. I'm ready to be there for this crowd. I'm ready to be everywhere, every second. So, thank you all for joining in. And you'll be seeing me again very, very soon. Be prepared. You'll see. We heard the words of Thomas McEntee. I think he is the owner and the boss of BYW Wrestling. And you see it, the fog, that epic entrance, the cool glasses. Man, this is classic backyard wrestling content. And I really appreciate that. And Thomas McEntee is... It's mad. The reason I'm out here is just for a simple reason. And that is, I was screwed out of a victory. I was screwed out. Prototype over here thinking he's the man, the myth, the legend. No, I'm the man, the myth, the legend. That's nice. <laughs> Shut up. Sorry. But the problem is, is that he's too much of a pansy to come out and fight me again. That's the problem that I'm having at the moment. Is that he's too fucking pansy. So, my question is, will he come out or will he just decide to stay in his little shell like a little bitch? So, and here is his opponent. Oh no, not his opponent. He's some kind of a referee. Or a uh, official of the league? Well, all I'm trying to do is get little prototypes ass out here. But I don't think that's going to happen. I have seen through things before, but I really do not believe that's him under all that demon and all that. I more believe he's gone to a place that none of us can touch. Starbucks! Sure. Yeah, I was right. Okay. I'm uh, talking dark places. Uh, In his mind, that only he knows of it and is forced to. Thomas McEntee? But will he come out? Will he come out? Will he fight? He will calls he out something? prototype. Will he do something? And I'm getting really sick and tired. I They're think just sitting out here doing Prototype nothing. and Thomas, they so have a feud. He is a man. He will come out here right now. Man, right and now. He, he is prototype. Here is the champion. Here is the scary little guy prototype. And you know, he looks like a champion. And I think he has that champion attitude. Thomas McEntee is uh, very mad on, right now. on prototype. And I do, do not got. fully understand that. Are you going to be like, Blake Legner? But I think. We'll see. We'll it's see. a classic feud be between good and match. evil, and that prototype is is the evil dude, right, and I think now. he fights he fights dirty and all that. And Thomas right. McEntee has a problem this with that. A no holds barred match. Oh man, the ref says ready? it there. It's a no holds ready? barred match. Ring a bell, ding ding ding. In a classic backyard venue. Oh, oh man, a punch from oh. Thomas McEntee and another punch. Oh my goodness! Explosive knees in the corner. Prototype tries to counter it, but he's not able to to make the counter. Arm breaker from Thomas McEntee. This no! is BYW no! wrestling here. A chair shot from Thomas. You're a liar. You're a cheater. And all I want to do is beat you. No! No! Liar and a cheater. No! No! I think this prototype no! is one no! hell of a badass. And Thomas McEntee 
is that babyface character that oh my pile driver that's gotta be it one two you no. got a two only two and sure we skip some parts of this match because it's it's a blockbuster main event it's a very long match and now prototype with some moves and now he has him in the test he's mission up, he's up. oh man and he's out one two thomas mcintyre is out but no 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 that was close that was very close and he countered this move Back oh. suplex! This match gets more dangerous and dangerous. Wow, and... I think taking it too far. No! I think Thomas likes to use that steel chair. Thomas, I think, I don't think, I think it's, it's a classic much. weapon in wrestling and... But also a very dangerous weapon. Especially if you use it like that, I mean... Oh my god! That makes a lot of damage at the hand, at the arm, at the foot. This Thomas, he really hates Prototype. And Prototype got up for some reason. And now Thomas, he missed Thomas with the chair. But Prototype, he's hyped. And Prototype, I think he has some power left in his. Oh man, chair shot against the hand. Excuse me, my English is not the best always, but I do my best. And Thomas does his best too, and he counter prototype again. And now he's dominating prototype again. Thomas, listen. I mean, the ref tries to stop Thomas because Thomas is completely out of his mind oh will it be a suplex oh no brain buster that was not a usual suplex he smashed him right on his neck on his head one two and he almost got that match and you see it you see it thomas beats prototype up and he's totally to dominating prototype. Listen, this man, if he recovers only a little bit, he's gonna fuck me up. Yeah, he oh, says man. that prototype fucks him up no! and he wants his revenge. And oh. now prototype shows his real character. He show, shows how he deals with his fights, with his problems. Oh. And now the cover. One, two. But Take that low blow two. didn't get him to win. I think. You have to do more prototype to beat Thomas. Thomas is a real main event, I think, and chair shot to the head. This is very dangerous. Please do not try this at home. All the people that are watching. Oh my goodness. Another chair shot on the back. Brother, that's too far as well. Come on, man. Get your head straight! And now the referee tries to stop Prototype. I mean, at first the referee tried to stop Thomas, now he's tries, tries to stop Prototype. I mean, he is... He's worried about the health of the of the fighters and now a shot. This could be it. One! Two! But no. Thomas still got something left in the tank. You see it there. He grabs the hair. He gives Prototype a taste of his own me medicine. That dirty move right there. And now the classic ESW backyard resting no. trampoline. No. Chokeslam! We have three points over this! Shit! Oh man. He is totally out of his mind. Frog splash! One, no, two. no, no, no. What is he doing? That is not a real cover. A cover with one hand. Now he misses the kick. 
I think Thomas uh, gets a little cocky here and that's not good. Another shot, another shot was that. And now, RKO. And he, he smashed One, the sunglasses from the head. Two. Oh Kick no, two. almost got it. Both of you, that's enough. Oh no, a letter. Now it's a letter in this match. This match gets more dangerous and dangerous. I said it at the beginning, no, but I never thought no, that something like this fire. will be happening exactly. here. That only creates more fire. Oh no, and they get up off the ladder. Or up the ladder, better to say. Punch for punch. They exchange punches. No! Oh. oh man. No. And somebody will fall no. off that ladder. Oh. Over you, that's enough. Oh no. Do this. Ah. Oh. oh no, and now a choke slam of prototype. One. Two. two. Only that's two. Team, Thomas, stay down. Man, we ah. saw two choke slams, one of the trampoline, one of the ladder. Now another low blow. Irish whip, knee smash to the head. No! A spear, I mean. One, two, she got a two. No, a near fall, another near fall. One move no! after the other. And now another counter from, from prototype. No! I think Thomas blocked that chair shot. But Thomas is hurt. He's hurt badly. And I think he, he bleeds. And now that twist of fate, I think that should be it. One, One two. two. No. Oh no. How? Thomas get up there. Missile drop kick. Oh my goodness. For sure we skip something from the match. But it, it's, 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 it's insane. Thomas is doing a lot of painful things to Prototype, but Prototype does that also. I mean, counter for counter, move for move. Oh, and that, that what, that, that, that Claymore kick, that finishing maneuver from One, Thomas. Two, three. And that's it. Thomas. Thomas gets his revenge. It's over. Thomas beat that little prototype. Can't believe that this really happened. Over, it. it was a painful backyard wrestling Don't match. No. And isn't that enough? He smashes the title on the head. What the hell was that? What do you mean what the hell was that? Do you see the man? He wasn't gonna quit until he was demolished. Both of you went to a point of no return. No shit. But that's not my fault prototype did that. So I, I just fought fire with fire. And one of that creates a blazing inferno. I get it. But what, you just want me to sit there and be a punching bag? There was a better way to settle this, and that was not one like of them. Like what? There was a way to get to that dark place with light. Joel, this is a pro wrestling show. This ain't a pushover. Some, you gotta fight the good fight. Some backstage scenes here, and I'm Mirko Lichternitz, and I say goodbye. Just look at this last scene, and... Goodbye. You. Huh? I was careful. No, no, no. It's alright. Where'd that? Where'd all that stuff go? This on your shirt. That right there. That's me. It don't matter right now. Come here. It don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. It seems like this. There's no doubt my mind is far evil ties. Alright. By the way, if your back feels sore, I did not do it. Alright? This has to be part of Come on, let's go. This has to be part of it, Thomas. I'm figuring it.